Maranatha, page 171. Second angel's message to be repeated. June 12th. There followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Revelation 14, verse 8. The second angel's message of Revelation 14 was first preached in the summer of 1844, and it then had a more direct application to the churches of the United States, where the warning of the judgment had been most widely proclaimed and most generally rejected, and where the declension in the churches had been most rapid. But the message of the second angel did not reach its complete fulfillment in 1844. The churches then experienced a moral fall, in consequence of their refusal of the light of the Advent message, but the fall was not complete. As they have continued to reject the special truths for this time, they have fallen lower and lower. Not yet, however, can it be said that Babylon is fallen, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. She has not yet made all nations do this. God still has a people in Babylon, and before the visitation of his judgments, these faithful ones must be called out that they partake not of her sins and receive not of her plagues. This is the same message that was given by the second angel. Babylon is fallen because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. What is that wine? Her false doctrines. She has given to the world a false Sabbath instead of the Sabbath of the fourth commandment and has repeated the falsehood that Satan first told to Eve in Eden, the natural immortality of the soul. Many kindred errors she has spread far and wide, teaching for doctrine the commandments of men. In the last work for the warning of the world, two distinct calls are made to the churches. The second angel's message is, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And in the loud cry of the third angel's message, a voice is heard from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquity.